Hi guys and welcome back to a, another video. I am very excited today and the reason I am very excited today is because I am going to do something that I've wanted to do for a little while um, with this DD2 wheel and that is to run it up to 100% force feedback. That's right, I'm going to make this thing as tough as possible and see if I can muscle the car around for uh, for an entire lap of the Nordschleife. That's right, I'm going to go bridge to gantry on the Nordschleife in a Lamborghini at 100% force feedback and see if I make it round. But of course, first, before we get into that, if you guys are liking the videos, if you enjoy the content that I make, then don't forget to hit the like button down below and uh, of course hit the subscribe button that massively helps me out at the moment and of course hit the little bell notification as well so you guys know when I release a video but without further ado let's head out on to track so here we are in the TF car park at the Nordschleife and what I'm going to do first oh Jesus Christ is just crank the wheel all the way one way and then all the way the other and you can see actually how much effort I'm having to put in just to move this wheel and of course this is completely unrealistic in terms of a real car but it is quite fun and uh, even at 60 or 70 k's we are struggling to uh, <laughs> struggling to get the car turned into uh, the place we want to go so heads out onto the track now and we'll see and <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm stopping talking and it is literally the sheer amount of effort I'm having to put in to just keep this thing oh there we go that was a curb and you can really you can almost hear how much force is going through this wheel and hopefully it's translating <laughs> at home how much uh, effort I'm having to put into this uh, wheel to actually get it to go somewhere as we uh, turn it in and we've only done like three corners Jesus how, the, how am I gonna get around the lap as we get very sideways and that's actually <laughs> the dangerous part is when you're going in a straight line or you're just kind of tracking around a corner it's not too bad it's when the car starts to slip and you're actually having to catch the wheel because the wheel just snaps in one direction and there isn't a great deal. I'm actually going through an awful lot slower than I would do normally. Ugh. And I'm actually really struggling to get the wheel past about 15 to 20 degrees. As we go over flue plats and we get all four wheels off the ground and I just trying to fight the car around the corners and keep get it back into a straight line so I can have a little bit of a rest as we head down towards Schweden Kreutz now and I'm well, well early on the brakes there I'm sorry I'm not pushing too hard but honestly <laughs> I'm literally I'm probably 30 seconds to a minute into the lap and my arms are, are dead honestly I can't I don't have any words to describe how hard this is and what you can see is the car jumping from one side to the other and that's like I say the most horrible thing is when it slips like that because it snaps the wheel the other way you really do have to be aware of it and either choose to let go or just kind of go with it because it will really hurt if you uh, it, it, this thing will hurt you if you uh, try and fight it as we head in, oh, very sideways, you can see, I, I, had, I was a passenger there, I've gone into the wall, but I'm going to carry on, just because I think it's important to see how far I get through the lap, and to be honest, I don't think I've got many takes of this in me, <laughs> I'm really having to fight the car to get it around the corners, and as I said earlier, this is completely unrealistic of how strong this uh, force feedback is. It's complete madness. Oh. 
and hopefully now we're getting through to some slightly less twisty sections so it's going to be interesting but I am early on the brakes everywhere just purely because I don't have the strength to throw the car in to many places as we uh, made our way past Brightshite without putting it in the wall and that's something I'm a little bit scared of as well actually is just putting this thing in the wall because that's going to snap the wheel around and potentially wrench a wrist or catch a thumb obviously I've got my uh, Sparco gloves on and that is literally just to help me hang on to the wheel as we head oh this is a really fast section which means the forces really build up oh, but obviously the worst bit is when the car goes light and you feel the wheel go light as well and you're really having to <laughs> struggle and I wouldn't normally break there but again I'm struggling to ugh, get the car in <laughs> sideways again then oh no we're coming up to the carousel now <laughs> this is possibly the bumpiest section of the track and already my hands are knackered if you've ever been go-karting on like one of the renter carts or something like that and you've done you're not used to it and you've done 15 minutes to half an hour of just solid going round that's what your hands feel like and I'm literally five or six minutes in probably I don't even know I don't even care at this point what how far I am uh, how on time I'm not looking for a lap time it's just an experience at this point just to see if I can uh, get the car and that's the thing is when the car gets sideways you have such a time a, a horrible time trying to pull it back straight again because it's fighting against you so much uh, so we're into the last sector now and I'm actually really horrible and sweaty at this point because I'm going to put so much energy into just fighting this car around the track and it, like I said earlier it's not going to be a spectacular time as we uh, get a little bit sideways and that's the thing is I'm trying not to get the car sideways because I know that way is where doom lies but we are most of the way around the lap now so I'm just hanging on for dear life trying to get this thing around the track and I'm so slow at this point I would never ever ever race like this but it's hopefully funny for you guys to watch we'll see in the wall again and again hopefully that shows you that I, I literally I can't grab opposite lock in this car at the minute because I just don't have the strength to muscle the wheel around I'm literally hanging on for dear life as that as we go around again and then, oof. <laughs> so there you go that's uh, that's what getting into the wall looks like oof. so let's see if we can just finish the lap Still, I think my arms are pretty much gone at this point, and that last spin kind of proves it a little bit. I just ha I had nothing left to fight the car with there, and you kind of saw actually how quickly and violently that whipped the wheel around on me. So uh, we'll see what sort of time we did, but I don't think it's going to be monstrous. But. As we head down onto uh, the straight now let's see what we get under the bridge 750 that's a pretty god awful time to be honest but there we go that was the Nordschleifer at hundred percent and you saw as I let go of the wheel there the wheel just start to shake um, I really 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 wouldn't recommend doing this at home it's I, I'm so sweaty right now um, I'm absolutely knackered after seven minutes of fighting this wheel. I would never, ever, ever race like this. And please, if you own one of these wheels 
make sure I've got my emergency stop just down here so that I can get to it and smash it nice and quickly if uh, if anything should go wrong and you kind of saw it a little bit there actually in that last spin with the wheel just going a little bit nuts and I just kind of had to take my hands away because if you get a thumb or something like that caught in one of these wheels it's going to hurt you and it's going to do you some damage so hopefully that was entertaining for you guys to watch I'm going to go and have a shower now and uh, we'll see you next time don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff like comment subscribe hit the Amazon links in the description below bye bye